Hey, my dear grapevine friends. I'm Lovis, an alcoholic from Germany, um, recording this share from the parking lot of a um, wedding that I um, that I was invited to as a plus one. Um, I'm my sobriety date is uh, April nineteenth, twenty nineteen. So that puts me at a little over four years at the time of recording, and um, I just wanted to share how. Um, yeah, how life is being sober at a, at a wedding where there's obviously drinking and, um, it's already past midnight and, um, yeah, I don't know, really the last, the last wedding I went to, I was about five years old, so I didn't really have any, um, active drinking stories related to weddings. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I woke up this morning and, and as I do, Nowadays, I uh, I get on my knees and I pray and I ask for guidance, um, and I meditate some. If I can, I do it out in nature in the garden. Um, and this morning, I couldn't really get a good connection, um, so what I did is I I tried to call around and, um, you know, sometimes I wake up and I just I I can say the words and I can I can sit there for ten or twenty minutes, but the. Uh, feel like I, I have no reception or something and and I don't really um yeah just to make sure and to give me give me there I I call some new members some old members see who picks up um and I was even able to discuss some some relations relationship problems that we were having my uh, my fiance and I um and and I think I've been I've been a good guest today um you know I I I am embarrassed um, to sing songs and, and to dance, um, especially because I don't really know the culture here. Um, and as I said, it's my first wedding in, in ages. Uh, I'm, I'm 22, by the way, if that's relevant for the share. Um, yeah, um, but I can be a good guest and I can, uh, I can get over that embarrassment and, and sing because I think that's what, what the bride's the 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 bride and the groom would like and um and i can sort of embrace anonymity in the way that it's no it doesn't matter much if i make a fool of myself um if i can be of service somehow and um i try not to be at the center of everything and and there's kids here with I know there's a family member who's struggling with with an alcoholic husband, and and she's here, and, and the kids are here, and I struggle letting go of of that and not not getting too involved, um, not getting. I try to be of service and I try to be involved and take work off her hands, um, but I know my my alanonic tendencies um, may may persuade me to over overcommit and try to change a whole life life situation in one evening and um and that that would keep me from from being of service and and it's also not um not humble because i can i can describe myself more um more power than i actually have and and get lost in that but anyway that's a story for another day um yeah, so so I'm singing and I'm then I'm dancing and um, trying to go along with all the things and um, see see the parents sitting outside with the children and asking them if they want something from the buffet and um, dancing with my fiance also and and trying to show her a nice time um, and you know I've I've been in in recovery for four years. Um, and I've been lucky enough to to be um, to be granted a lot of willingness um, pretty much right from the start after my my last relapse, which happened after after I had already been to a few meetings. I relapsed once, and then from then I've been on a good path, and I've been blessed with willingness. So I, I've just been I I got into service, and I got a sponsor, and I worked the steps within a few months. Um, and reading literature and everything, it was, it, it became clear to me that, you know, if I really wanted this, this AA thing, you know, the, 
the good stuff that everybody had and, and that the grapevine is so full with um, that I had to work and that I had to uh, there's one particular reading that talks about wanting humility as something I, I really desire for myself um, as opposed to, to a bitter pill that I feel obliged to, to swallow and I think, I think that change is, is starting to take place um, that I can be here at this wedding and, and see these people and you know, with, with, with the power of inventory and, and cleaning house and, you know, sort of to the best of my ability, getting a good look at, at what I carry on my back and, and what I, what I have to offer and what, what my defects are and trying to really trying and, and, and honestly trying to get a connection with a power greater than myself. Um, I don't feel that I have much to lose anymore. You know, in the best sense of the word, I just feel like I can go somewhere and put all of myself there and, and try to give of myself freely without the fear that someone may take too much, you know, um, because I can I can give and, and God's got my back and I can I can lean into that. And every every experience is like one more um, one more slightly bigger trust fall than the last one where I, you know, where I'm, I'm trying to see just how far I can go with this, you know, how, if God's really going to be there for me and, and as if now he has, and I can, I can be at this wedding. Alcohol is not a, not a problem at all. Um, I don't, I don't feel the need to drink and I can, I can be happy seeing other people have a good time. Um, and I can just, yeah, I, I can carry a message of hope. Um, I've got my, my grapevine, my big book and my 12 and 12 with me in my backpack. Um, yeah, and I'm just, I'm just trying to be good and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for having the opportunity to share this. Hope it helps somebody. Um, if you ever find yourself stuck in Germany, you know, there are meetings, um, business Lovis over and out. Thank you for letting me share.